In this video tutorial, I will be talking about pipe variable and how we can use it to produce uh, things something like this, and we can change the radius and produce this surface. So, first of all, what I have uh, used is a curve to uh, produce the pipe. Uh, first you can just double click on the canvas and search for a pipe and there's two kind of pipes and that's a pipe variable that we are talking about and there's a simple pipe which you give a single radius number and get the pipe out. So if I just search for pipe variable we need a curve to produce the pipe. So let's extract it and give it to a curve. So uh, this is the curve we want to make the pipe. There is two parameters here that we have to give and control them to produce the pipe and the variable pipe because we have a different radius alongside the curve. And the first is the curve parameters and if I just and turn off the full names you can see that it's a T a small T we talked about it late uh, before in uh, evaluate curve I talked about it about in evaluate curve and what's a T you can check out that video but um, for those who don't know if we right click on the curve and choose repairment rise we can make the curve a domain let me just connect the domain to this curve. Make the domain of the curve from 0 to 1. So uh, what actually happens is there is different domains but we can't control it or we want it to be more easier so we just right click on the curve and reparameterize the domain and so the parameter is the location of the radi different radiuses you want from 0 to 1. So if we give just a 0 and a 1 we are defining from the start to the end. We can define uh, 0, uh, 0 0.5 and 1 to define the half of the curve uh, parameter and the radius of the pipe. So the best thing you can do is to go to the params and use gene pool. Uh, I've talked about gene pool before, but if you double click it, you can uh, set five, for example, numbers because we want to define five different radiuses in uh, alongside the curve and it's a zero to one because the maximum domain of the curve is one and you can just go for more decimals if you want to exactly locate the different radius so if I connect it to this uh, parameters input uh, we have to increase it a little bit to till we, re we reach 1 because 1 is the end of the curve and 0 is the first place of the curve and we increase it till we reach the end okay so the third parameter is ready and that that's a list of radius for uh, each of these locations so let me just copy pa and paste this control C control V and give it a radius from something like 10 to 20 maybe 30 and and give it to the ready and you can see that we are controlling that's a mm, let me change the numbers that and they are a little bit more than we expected so it's just like 5 to 15 and well, that's better and you can see that we can control every place we are just defining and you can see that if I put my different locations near each other we are producing a jump uh, in this pattern so if I just make this big there's a little bit jump uh, you can have same numbers but it will not understand from which part you are defining so remember to increase the number till you reach one or if you want it uh, a subcurve you can just decrease it to have it uh, in another place okay so um, 
the last part is to play with those radiuses and define what we want but uh, the last part is to have only the upper part of the pipe because uh, perhaps it's a architectural project and we just need the upper part and we don't need the uh, down part of the pipe we can also right click on perspective and go to clipping plane so it's just like choosing a clipping plane drawing a clipping plane and rotating it 180 degree and you can see exactly what happens you are uh, clipping the surface so it's better view of w what we need but in grasshopper we we don't basically we don't usually we don't use clipping plane because clipping plane can be accessed by uh, some plugins but for now we can do a small little tool called iso trim which I talked about it before and you have to make the surface standard so right click and make it reparameterize I talked about it before uh, but what happens is that it's a 0 to 1 and a 0 to 1 for here so what we need is to tell what exactly part of the surface we want and what we need is something like this 0 to uh, half of this and maybe all of the V lengths of the surface so uh, we go to the math and we go to the domain and head down to construct domain 2 you can combine construct domain 2 with ISO trim to have a section of the surface so let's see what happens but uh, remember to give us a reparameterized uh, input and this is a u min u max for the u and the v min v max for the v and if i give it a number for u you can see that it's for the length of this curve we want all of it so we go for the v part and it's something like this 0 0.5 to 1 because we want this part you can ju just see that we are choosing uh, a part of this and this is great for architectural projects maybe you need this uh, surface to place uh, something underneath it or uh, use it for a shelter or whatever so uh, basically now we can have a better insight of our surface by changing these numbers and uh, also connecting a display uh, custom preview to the surface you can see that here we have a better insight uh, and when we are okay with that we right click on the surface and bake it and have it in Rhino so we can further work on it or whatever you want you can see that if I just increase that number you have a great surface for uh, architectural projects maybe it's a bus station or whatever it's a, a parking place and uh, you can make that let me just offset that offset surface to produce the surface and you can see that it's a really great tool to produce uh, architectural projects or something like that uh, that's all about uh, pipe variable you can use it for producing really really complicated surfaces but uh, this is this was a small example of, of how you can use it thank you for watching if you have any comments or if you have any questions uh, or any grasshopper commands you need or you want to know more about just feel free to put on put underneath in the comments or in the website and I will try to record a video as soon as possible thank you for watching